All right, Stockmaster fans, this is kind of an oddity. 1978's Lane Caudell and Deborah Raffinin hanging on a star. Let's watch. Lane Caudell plays Jeff Martin. This is the Jeff Martin Band. Deborah Raffin plays Katie, and she's got her sights on managing this band. As of right now, they're an unknown. You guys, like a really terrific manager to get your act off the ground. Do you know what? I am one. <coughs> I saw that coming a mile down the road. Meaning? Well, they turn her down, but she's persistent and even follows them to their home later. Well, maybe we can go for a beer sometime. That isn't what I had in mind. No kidding. Look, let's just get one thing straight between us. Well, between the four of them, they have one car that they use for their gigs, and they crash it. So now they're really hurting for cash. They hire her. She's in then, right? I mean, majority rules. You guys obviously don't care about what I think. Not only does she manage them, but she also saves them from some from an alley fight with some thugs with knives. Wolfman Jacks plays Gordon. The band members, unbeknownst to Wolfman Jack, then follow him around playing one of their songs to try to get him to uh, hear it and, of course, like it. And it works. Okay, I surrender. They are a damn good group, and I'm sure we got a hell of a future together. There's a little tension, though. You hustle them like you're trying to hustle us. They were going to hire me. It was the record company that wouldn't go along with it. Katie, cut the bullshit, will you? Okay, maybe I should have been more honest with you. And, of course, Katie and Jeff start to hit it off. Here's the love music video montage. They immediately get booked on a telethon. Which includes this guy. Of course, groupies throw themselves at them at the most opportune, inopportune moments. Well, he makes up to her by serenading her that evening. Okay, come on. And he ends up in her bed. He's got a big event for them playing, but the Greek. But Gordon did some fancy talk and convinced him that you might be able to sell the place out. And if you do, they'll make a bundle. And I tell you, if you guys pull this off, every rock magazine newspaper in the business is going to be there. At the Greek theater. So they have to promote themselves. Careful with the script. All right. I feel great. Jeff, now that I've They make it to the Rudy J show. And now it's time for our featured group. It's an interesting story how these guys got on the show. But I'll tell you about that later. Right now, let's welcome the Jeff Martin Band. The 
promoters pulled the plug on the Greek. The ticket sales just weren't what they expected. But this show is going to turn that all around. It's too late, Kate. They, they just won't take a chance. What's but... That? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little news. The show is back on at the Greek Theater. Unfortunately, Jeff went off to Mexico to get away for a few days, and they need him back like the next day. So she goes on to Mexico to find him. Katie! What are you doing here? Slumming. The show's back on. You're kidding! No, I'm not kidding. Being pulled by a couple. But the bus isn't making it. trying to say that the bus won't be running at all. They have no way to get back. We'll see. So they get hooked up with this drunk who will fly them on his helicopter. Okay, let's get in. He apparently uh, flies illegals across the border from time to time. Of course, he's late for the show. Is he going to make it? The Greek Gators Prom present the Jeff Mark Band! Well, that's it, man. What the hell are we going to do now? But guess who arrives just in time? And our movie ends with them singing a couple of songs to great success. Alright, let's talk about Hanging on a Star. Um, the stars Lane Caudell and Deborah Raff. And Lane Caudell, Lane Caudell actually is a Facebook friend of mine. Um, I added him not long after I discovered this movie. And I'm not sure actually why I have this movie. But I think a friend, my fellow stock Mr. Jeff, told me about it. And I tracked it down. And I also tracked down the actual soundtrack of this film. I don't know why. I was obsessed with this movie for about a week. And then I picked up that stuff. And I haven't seen the film since until today. First time in a long time. Um, actually, I sent a message to Lane and said, Hey, can you give me a little tidbits about this film before I do the review? He didn't answer. So... He didn't read it either, so whatever. But anyway, um, the movie itself came out in 1978, and I think Lane Caudell, they were kind of gearing him to be a, uh, a pop singer of some sort. Uh, things didn't really pan out in that direction. He did some acting roles, too. It kind of reminds me of a little bit of, like, Rick Springfield, because this guy also did Days of Our Lives, uh, many episodes as well, which I think is what Rick Springfield did. Uh, anyway, the movie itself is okay. Um, it's about an up-and-coming band, uh, the Jeff Martin band, starring... Uh, Lane Caudell as Jeff Martin, and they're just trying to become popular, become a, get a record deal, whatever they got to do. Um, Deborah Raffin hears them singing in in a, in a bar or someplace, and she decides to uh, that she wants to manage them. They're a little reluctant at first because one of the guys in the band, I think the drummer, is actually their manager also. Um, but eventually they decide to go to her, and then she has a few contacts in the industry, including Wolfman Jack, who plays this guy named Gordon Shep. Um, they bombard him with their music, and then he decides to uh, sign them and gets them hooked up on a telethon first. And then he gets them a, a gig at this Greek theater. It's called the Greek Theater. It's a big place. I don't know. This is going to be like their their um, uh, their big break. Um, however, ticket sales don't pan out, and, they, and the producers pull it, and the, and, and the gig is canceled. So they're a little depressed. Jeff decides to go off to Mexico for a few days to wind down. Meanwhile, there was a lot of response about them on the telethon. Next thing you know, the concert is back on. So they got to find Jeff, even though they don't know exactly where he is in Mexico. Nonetheless, Deborah Raffin goes down there and somehow manages to find him in a bar. Um, they party a little bit. Then the next day, they're supposed to take the bus out of there, but the bus doesn't come. There's a problem with the bus. So then they're trapped there. But eventually, they find a way back on a helicopter, which gets Jeff back up to California just in time, literally just in time as the... Uh, Concert's about to start. He lands by helicopter and uh, to great fanfare, and they have their concert. And I guess they live happily ever after, famous rock stars. There you go. Um, yeah, the movie itself is obviously a little cheesy, but you know what? I enjoyed it on some level. Uh, the music was okay. Um, I actually did like the the theme song, Hanging on a Star. I went to look on Apple Music to see if it was there. It's not. They don't have any of Lynn Caudell's music. They don't have any of this soundtrack or nothing like that, which is kind of, I was kind of surprised by that, because... 
thought at least I'd be there, but it's not. So anyway, you can't hear Hang on a Star. Maybe it's streaming on YouTube somewhere. I don't know. The movie itself was released on VHS. I have the VHS copy of it, although I it's not available on DVD, and I burned a DVD-R of it and made some homemade box art here. You'll see the... Uh, it was a little scratchy, though, my copy, so I could use a better copy of this. Maybe it'll be on DVD someday. Who knows? Anyway, that's it. It's Hang on a Star. It's not a bad film. Has anybody else seen this movie? I don't know. I'm curious. Leave some comments. Let me know. Hang on a Star. Watch it. Bye.